Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some Greg Tech New Horizons. So we are back and uh, we actually have a newer version. And uh, so we have the new machine uh, UI basically here, and uh, which looks pretty cool. One thing I noticed, and apparently we missed out on here, is, you know, it's like, oh, yay, they added the circuit here, but it was apparently always there to begin with. Um, it was just, you know, hidden in the UI. There was no cutout in the UI for it, I guess, because this was probably coming eventually. I'm not sure. Um, but I derped up. This is a modular UI. I guess the whole purpose of this is to make UI building in the future or GUI for like the machines and stuff a lot easier and more adaptable. So probably helps fix some issues and bugs. So um, nothing looks too crazy different. It's it's just more like they have titlings up there and, you know, it's, it's kind of nicer looking. It's a little refreshing. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and I think and get some oil today. Uh, but we're going to go into the uh, drilling rig, basically, here. Now, this was under the multi-block ones, but it could have changed now because, obviously, uh, things have changed here. What says morons may not affect the VBFing? Oh, okay. We'll take this free steel out of there. We haven't been there for a while, so... Um, so, it was a multi-block. Let's see what we got here first, reward-wise. Um, oh, sulfur, sulfuric acid cells in salt... Gets you sodium uh, biosphate, and then you get sodium uh, pers... Ugh, I can't even say it. I did this. I don't even remember why. Oh, I remember why I did this. Uh, so, yeah, you electrolyze, basically, this dust. To make the dust, you just take our sulfuric acids, which we're already making, and then you take the sodium uh, hydro... Oh, sorry. You take salt and sulfuric acid. You get a byproduct of hydrochloric acid as well. And then you just literally electrolyze that and you get yourself the sodium pure fate. And the reason I did that was for this guy right here. So I made a new prospector scanner. It's the HV version. So just five by five, which is nice. But the nice feature on this one was, I guess, more successful scan chances probably. But it also has a lot more durability. It's vibrant alloy, uh, which seemed to be the best one I can get at HV at this time. Uh, which, yeah, was really nice. And I've been using this to hunt for oil. So you have to go to Bedrock, unfortunately, and get uh, all the way down. So the best oil I found was this right here, just regular oil, continue doing what we normally do. There's an oil over here, and there was a really heavy, look at this, this heavy oil goes up to 767. And when you look at these, these are uh, eight chunks by eight chunks. So you actually place them. So when you go down to... Uh, where was that? We kind of zoomed in too much here. Where is that just regular oil? Oh, here it is. So here's that regular oil. So you can see this chunk has the highest amount. So you'd set up your oil rig there, but look at all the oils here. And as far as I know, these last quite a while and later on, you'll get ones that can go multiple chunks. Uh, so they'll last even longer. So if you had like a, I don't know, a two by two one, I guess, I don't know how the, the two by two works. Like, how do you know to go there versus here, you know, but, um, it's probably the closest one. So if you put it right here, then it probably would do these guys. But that's something we'll learn and understand over time. But look, look at all the high levels in here. This is a really good one. So basically, I can move this around over time. But apparently, you don't move them around as much. They, they should last a lot longer. Um, they, they, the numbers slowly go down over time. But apparently, it should last way longer than us having to move the, the BC one over and over again. And I did that like probably a dozen times uh, by now. So uh, loop bag MV, sure. And then anything else interesting in here? No, uh, they've they've restructured some stuff in here as well. So some things are different. I did make an energetic uh, alloy crossbow limb. Uh, so it does a bit more damage and stuff. Um, but basically, you know, we've done this many times. I don't think you need to see it. Look how much power this thing uses. Almost a million power just to make that. But uh, it was just one of those things that I just thought, okay, let's do that and upgrade my cro crossbow finally. There's another one for the tip, but it requires the moon. So I guess there's some materials there. Um, oh, yeah, they, they moved. Do you remember these guys? They were all in all the different tiers. They moved them out of there into here. So some of these tiers actually have like 10 plus quests less. But I think that's just from reorganization. So I don't think they have actually removed anything. Um, helium, you remember we got this from the Ender? I think this was the end uh, stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it requires 1,802 compressed air cells to get one HC cell. I guess we did this for a quest, but I never actually did the thing, oddly enough. So, 
that's a lot of enchanted bags, which is kind of cool too. So let's open this bag here, which is probably going to be meh. And then this bag, okay. And then one, two, three of these guys. Look at this. So, you know what? The circuits are kind of cool. I, I would say the circuits were a nice treat there. Most of this stuff's meh. This is this doors mod, by the way. It wasn't anything special. It's just door factory. I think it's just how you craft the, the doors in there. Maybe eventually we'll make ourselves some more fancier ones. Um, my leather, like my armors are down a bit. I decided to throw a bunch of these into the... Um, Oh, what do you call it? I can't even think of the name. The Arc Furnace. But you cannot, like, non-repaired ones cannot go in there. There's no partials, unfortunately. I thought maybe there would be. So if you put this one in, maybe instead of getting five, you get four because it's not fully repaired. It does not do that. Or at least it didn't seem to do that. I don't know if that's a feature later on or it's just how it is. I did get an Industrial Diamond. Um, we talked about that before, that there's possible some recipes later on that require just Industrial Diamonds. So anyways, is that catch us up i think that catches us up so let's go to multi-blocks here render multi-blocks perfect and these have changed a bit since i remember so let's get the eye off here so we're not getting too confused here there you go and uh let's see oil oil was like a small one time to drill for oil yeah there we go so pumps are nice but you're going to reach a point where you want more oil this is a multi-block will help you that with that but you need to search for oil using the seismic prospector that's the i think the one that you usually put on the ground the one that we did with the book and stuff which showed you a nice area you can use raw light medium and heavy oil there's also a chance for that fine natural gas higher tiers of power will drill faster you need to upgrade the energy hatch corresponding power tier later you can upgrade the oil drill rig so it extracts from more than one chunk at a time you need minimum pipes in the controller if you need more than 64 you can use an input bus uh these are gt machines so remember to protect them blah 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 from rain and okay set waypoint with journey map so you don't forget where it is space dims can also have fluids beneath them blah, blah. okay so that's cool so this is everything we need we've done most of this i mean look at this most of these got checked out just for having them over time so they're suggesting make envy everything i guess i could do that um everything is steel the only thing that is new here i think is the cobalt i don't think we've ever actually processed cobalt uh into so i think you have to blast that i'm guessing yeah so this is the first time oops i wouldn't want that one uh we've done this one so see when it's that cheap i just go ahead with this one okay um but let's do that i don't know if i have any cobalt dust oh apparently i have some here but i feel like i'm i mean where like what didn't i get any from processing stuff over time here oh yeah here we oh yeah look at all the cobalt okay so that's nothing special at this point so let's get four cobalt dust stacks of cobalt you know what i'm not doing anything else five six seven eight let's get eight stacks of it because i'm sure if it's showing up now i'm sure it's going to be used eventually a bit more too right so and you know me um so once again that's just going to be in the blast furnace i guess i didn't bookmark that that recipe Sorry, you're supposed to right click there. There you go. Um, do, 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 do. So yeah, we're just gonna go with this one right here. Oops. Well, that's where I bookmarked it. Um, okay, so, and it needs to be circuit one. So we can take out all these finally. We can reset them back to nothing. And yeah, we're gonna just set you to circuit one. We're gonna set you to circuit one so much. And that existed all this time. It just was hidden. So just more fuel on the fire, just to call me an idiot if you like. But, uh, and you, yeah, you don't require cooling. Perfect. And by the way, if you didn't know this, if you wanted to, let's, let's, let's say these ingots did require cooling, but you didn't want to wait for it. You can bookmark the, the cooling of the ingot. Like for example, look at this, I can remove this and you know, okay, you process it and whatever, and we don't have it yet. And boom, you can drop the ingot from the NEI into the Ender IO interface. So that is a feature. I just wanted to show you that and let you know that it's a cool feature and it does exist. So uh, that's pretty cool. So we'll let run that run for a bit. And then let's see here. I think everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think you need to watch me craft all this again because um, we've done all this, right? Solid machine. Yeah, okay. That was from our explosion whatever compressor thing that we've never actually used once yet, by the way. 
Uh, so besides that, the output hatches are different. Oh, I think we might have done this or I've talked about this. This is just a regular tank with a double copper plate and molten glass. So let me go ahead and craft this batch up and then we'll come back. Okay, so these are still going, but they're only taking nine seconds each, which is not too bad to be fair. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and collect uh, our loot here. Um, I don't need that many anyways, but we'll make some of the gears. I don't know if we'll ever need gears again, so I might make just exactly... How many did we need? Four? Just because why Why make extra? If you, you never, ever, ever plan to use it again, right? But we'll probably be mistaken. We'll be like, oh crap, we need it again, and then do it again. <laughs> That's usually how it ends up, I find. But we'll, we'll try the first four here. There we go. Two more to go. Let's pull this out here in a sec. There you go. Perfect. Oh, now we have cobalt as well. So, Which I guess is a material you can use for different things. So, it's LV wiring apparently. Not something you'd want to use, but uh, cool. There's piping. It's an item pipe. Neat. Okay. So, where are we going here? Perfect. And then we should actually, we have to go back here because we're going to build this in the assembler as far as I know. Um, oh gosh, this is one of those ones that have like a million and one things in it. So you got this, this, and then uh, this, one, two, three, four. And then I guess this is going to be number two, which is good. Molten, oh, I haven't done that in ages. And then your four here. And then, yeah, we'll have to take... It's funny, I just... Yeah, they had it sounds to your bags, by the way. <laughs> so get used to that. Uh, I don't mind it. It's just like, what the hell? What's, what's going on here? Uh, soldering. I don't know if I have soldering here. I know where we can get solder, though. I just don't know if we had it in other places. Yeah, this is our solder that we usually have. Who has all the solder anyways? I thought there was, like, more somewhere. Might be in it. I'm just like, I thought we had them in a chest somewhere weird anyways let's grab all yours we haven't been using you recently it's nice when you're not making circuits often but we haven't been like doing anything either to be fair so okay there you go Whoa. what was this one here oh molten glass we'll take the polyethylene put it back in there and i'll just hold on to this stuff for now and there you go Wee. Okay, time to drill. That's cool. Um, let's use the bed for this newer player. I think they're newer. Come on. By the time I get there, though, they'll they'll like oh time to leg off. There you go. So let's see here. Um, I guess we can go out. So we're going to make something over here. I might as well design something. I'm going to just probably put it in the best chunk right there for now. Why not? Um, and then I'll probably design something slightly nicer. Um, it'll probably look almost identically the same. Uh, it'll probably just be a bit more roomier. It has to still be inside because, you know, blocks will blow up. But uh, I'll come up with something and then we'll go from there. I just wanted to show you. I reconfigured the, the rock breaker. So we had the lava on the right side. We had water on the left side, and then we were putting redstone in here. We had the ver on the top without insert, uh, or sorry, export else on the top. So it would pull out the redstone from here, and then it would export the obsidian in here when it was on top. But now, if I want smooth stone, which I do, uh, basically I have water on this side, lava on the top. It doesn't matter each other. It, water can be over here, but I think lava has to be on the top. And basically that will make your... Um, uh smooth stone and if you want to do cobblestone i believe it's just left and right again uh so water here red uh whatever but circuit two has to be there for obsidian so i just thought i'd let you know i was gonna use some chisel stuff and make some slightly nicer blocks for the oil stand okay so here we are so this is what it looks like we're gonna build it right here nice and dark right you know here we'll just kind of Creepy and very dangerous too because anything can pop up here and snipe us. So we probably should sleep right now. Even though I like it. I could always glass it in, you know? 
<laughs> Create glasses in, I think, for fun. I think it'd be kind of cool, to be honest. It's kind of like cased in glass. Um, that way mobs can't get into it, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll do it after, though, if I really want to do it. Why run back, right? So let's go ahead and sleep anyways for now. There you go. So let's go ahead and build this, shall we? So um, we're going to place this, the blocking down on the ground, and then we have this guy as well. So where's our base here, by the way? Our base is there. So let's do it right here, I guess. Um, so it's three, it's three on the bottom, right? So you have us here and then you're going to have your, let's see here. You're going to have your fluid thingy, fluid output here. Let's put the fluid output. Hmm. Let's see. Is there any kind of nothing on the backside? Okay. So let's put the fluid output here and then we're going to have to do our maintenance hatch somewhere. Yeah. Um, did I bring that? I hope I wasn't a noob. No, I brought it. Okay. Uh, let's put the maintenance hatch over here. I don't know if you can put the maintenance hatch there. Sometimes machines have uh, their own rules. Actually, it might say controller at front, solve blah, 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 energy hatch, any base casing, maintenance, any base casing, input mining optional. Okay. I guess mining pipe can go in there, possibly. That's what it sounds like, but I'm not sure. Uh, here's your MV energy hatch. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and use the casing here on the bottom. And then we'll need you as well. So I think that might be it. And I'm guessing it's solid, right? I never actually looked there. I guess it would. Oh, you know where you can look too. Oh, actually, they don't show a thing here. I'm pretty sure that would be solid. And then it was one, two, three, like this. And then the part I don't think we'll have enough is the frames, even though I think I made a lot of frames. I think that's the one that you might need more of. So we might have to run and get more frames because I think you have to have it go like this. And then you have to have it go three higher again. So yeah, I definitely did not get enough frames. Okay, now you wouldn't know it, but we're in a glass uh, container now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. I don't know if this is... I think you still have to do... Pipe is loose. Yeah, everything is there. So we thought one, two, three to make it look the right, I think. I think it's... Wait, so it says... It doesn't belong there, but it doesn't say something about the structure. So you think that's a structure issue or no? Let's see. Missing mining pipe. That's it. Okay. I brought some with me. Now, I guess you put them in here, but because it's a little higher, you might need more, obviously. Oh, uh, so I have some more, and then I guess I just manually feed it in, I'm guessing. Um, so we need to give it power. So I did bring it. Uh, why do I have an advanced miner on me? Oh, uh, maybe I took it out of the bag accidentally. Anyways, we do have this. I got worried I didn't bring the right thing. Oh, I do have something I'm missing. I have to run back now. I don't have a pump on this thing. Unless you have a pump. No. Oh, cover electric pump. There you go. That one has one. What are we doing here? What's in this one? Oh. This was something else I must have used. I don't even remember this one was for. Oh, for the miner, probably. Oh, okay. That's right. We can get it another one if I remember, obviously. So we'll just go ahead and switch you over here. And then we're going to take you and put you, this is a full thing of fuel. And so we'll have it go over here and we'll give it the pump. And I did not mean to do that. So now we have to get this thing. Did I not? There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. So this is feeding it the fuel now. And then we just need to soft mallet this, which has no durability almost. So hopefully it works the first try, right? And then we're going to set this up to our pipe stuff. But I have to go and move our pipe uh, over here for this. So I really should just wait, honestly. But I'm guessing it'll pause. It'll be kind of neat to see anyway. So let's turn it on, shall we? There it goes. 
So I'm guessing it just voids anything as in this way. That's supposed to be a miner after all, right? There you go. Running perfectly. That's what we want to hear. Okay. So that'll take a couple of minutes probably to get down there. It looks pretty like it's going pretty quick. So now we want to hook up our pipe system to this, obviously. So let's go. Here is where we're going to bring it in. So um, don't bring in. Well, I guess I could cut it out. I just need to be able to see how I'm bringing it in, right? So what I'm going to do is put this here. Perfect. And then I just need to sleep again here. This squish spot. Oh, we have to wait a couple seconds here. Well, it's going pretty good here. Okay. Doesn't even look that fuel hungry right now, at least, but that might change, obviously. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start getting this over here. So I like to sometimes depending on how far and where it is and things like that. I like to sometimes just go like, you know, bring it this one out and then attach it. Sometimes they'll go the other way, just whatever I'm feeling and what seems more logical for me at the time. So Okay. So I'll probably bring it right till it comes across the other one here. Roughly on the same line if I can. There you go. Ah, made a mistake. Don't like mistakes on this. There you go. Yeah, let me take out my old oil setup and then we'll connect the end to it. Oh, look at that. Black gold. So what happens when this is sitting here? It does seem like it continues running even though it's full and I don't know if it's voiding it or not, to be fair. Could be. Wouldn't know for sure. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy put in here, but I can't, this is where things get tricky. So I think it's easier for me to go like this, put you here and then find out which way is the right end. Um, so this is the input. So we want to flip this around it over here. That looks right. And then there you go. So unfortunately, I guess we're going to not, well, you can look at this and you can see it moving. So there you go. So it's definitely working now. Oh man, this thing is fast as hell. <laughs> but yeah, now it's definitely doing its thing, so. And then all you have to do is refill this fuel or whatever you want to do. I think the fuel way like this is fine for me. I don't think I need to do anything uh, too special there. But I'm guessing I can just place that there. Won't hurt it. And there you have it. So isn't that kind of cool? I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so if that's going good, that has 35. Well, I'm going to have to put fuel in this eventually. This is your weakest link no matter what. Um, let's put this in here so it lasts longer, but uh, obviously it will be the, the weakest link as time goes on, but that's fine. And then I don't know if this will update over time. I wonder if it does that. And how does it do it? And how do you even know? So yeah, I put five, five, six, eight. But you know what? It, it probably won't cheat. Uh, five. Wait, five, six, eight, five, six, seven. Wait, why five, six, eight? Why did I put one less on mine? It's gone up. It's gotten better. Five, six, eight. It looks like. Oops, eight. Oh, 
I think I just made some bunch of typos. Okay, five six eight, five six eight. Yeah, so I don't know if this will automatically go down if it shows it to you, all this other stuff. It's very cool how it is on the map there, but I don't know how you know this stuff. I'm guessing it'll get slower and slower eventually, but uh it's ridiculously fast now, so um, either way, no, I don't think that'll be a problem. Now, we are wasting oil. I, I think next time what we'll do is look into doing the multi-story um, stuff, but I think that'll be just for another time. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Now, the only downside is I, didn't, I should probably fix that right now because I took all the torches out and mobs can spawn in here, I'm guessing, unless those blocks are like non-mob spawnable, but... Probably best to put a torch in here. These don't have block placeable. Okay, that's fine. Mobs wouldn't spawn on there anyway, to be fair. So there you go. <laughs> I guess I did. I wanted airspace there, but I guess he left two spots. That's all right. Cool. That's all she wrote. So that should work. The chunk should be loaded. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go to our base. And, uh, excuse me. The oil should start flowing. So I should do some calculations, figure out, like, how... I think people say if you make a, the, the multi-block distiller or whatever, it's like you, you literally get, like, three times uh, the amount out of it. So And then it gives you all the other stuff, too, a bunch of byproducts and stuff. So... It's like basically all the random things that you could do before. Um, you had to pick and choose what you want. Now you don't have to pick and choose. So I don't actually see it like besides giving it faster. I don't actually see here one where you get more out of it. So you got this version where you can get sulfuric gases and stuff in this version here. But basically it's 500 to 500 or 50 to 50 which is literally what we use now. So if you look here, we're making uh, sulfuric light fuel with uh, the current process we're doing. And if we use the distillery, that's literally what we're doing right here, sulfuric light fuel. So I'm not seeing a loss there, but you are gaining, like literally you're gaining all the other resources. So I think you have to realize like that's, that's the big deal here is all the different resources that you're getting. Um, oops. Sorry, sulfuric light fuel. So, yeah, like, you're only, you know... That's weird. How come this is different than what we just looked at? Sulfuric light fuel. Oil. Oh, there it is. 25, 25. Sorry, I was just on the wrong one. Um, but, yeah. But, okay, so you get 25, 25 there, but... Then you do it here, and you know you're getting way more product, anyways. You're getting you know, all the different things here. If you switch it here, oh, that's raw oil. Oh, I see. I was wondering what was the difference there. There's other versions too, right? So heavy oil, raw oil, light oil, oil. So your regular oil is the one you would want to go for that. But there might be ones where, like, you want to take the oil and use it somewhere else too, right? But, yeah, these are the two anyway. So 50 to 50 or 500 to 500. The cost, though, is a lot less, I think, here. Look at this. So you use 2,000. You, get, you use 15,000. But you do it in 1, point, 1 second versus 1.6 seconds, and that's the HV version. Interesting. Sulfuric, yeah, so you get that. 50 and 20, 502, yeah. So it looks like the HV one, you just better all over. You get more stuff. You also get sulfuric heavy fuel. I never paid attention to my, because this is still insane, right? But do we make sulfuric heavy fuel? We do. So more likely with this setup, I might not even have to worry about these, so... Um, yeah, unless I'm doing something wrong, as far as I can tell, that's how you do it. So I'll probably still do the multi-block distillery and stuff for fun. Maybe even the, the chemical stuff. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated. And eventually I want to do the uh, the boosted diesel. But, like, I think that's a little too far ahead for me yet. Um, but, 
yeah, even if I get the, the, the you know, the multi-block one done and then I pump it into this room and use the setup, because these guys are kind of the weakest link anyways, right? So if I get rid of these, uh, or, or just put them on hold in a sense, and then, you know, build a, a multi-block one and then, you know, slowly work on multi more of them over time and, you know, get the full setup, why not, right? So learn it a bit at a time, but... Uh, anyway, so we got the uh, we got this done. So there's so many the data sets are probably more worth it than what I'm grabbing here, but whatever. Yeah, obsidian <laughs> definitely would have been better. Oh, look at that! We're out of room there. We're gonna clean some of this stuff. Oh, here you go. I'm gonna put you over here. Oh, I got circuits too. Okay, those circuits aren't bad. Eight LV circuits. Let's you go back and do stuff, right? So, very useful scanner. Wait, I can do this now? Okay. Oh, so I don't think this is that one. This is just a scanner for yourself. It's not the uh, one that uh, lets you scan for ores. Can scan blocks in the world? Well, maybe. I might be wrong. Maybe this is the... I feel like that isn't it, though. Because I feel like that's, you know... We're not, we're not all going to get off that lucky, you know what I mean? Or five, I think, for that, usually. Yeah, okay. And I some of recipes. I always check from time to time, but let's say update them and then update. Yeah, usually you don't get anything extra out of these ones, so. Okay. And then you got your MV circuits here. There we go. And then, oh, we can finally, oh, you have to have HP for that. We can actually finally work on those, uh, where's my HP hiding here? I know it's right in front of me, but there it is. We have an excuse to finally work on this thing. Medium lithium battery. I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, I have some dead ones somewhere. Did I charge them up? I guess it doesn't matter if you use that one even. Um, I don't think anyways. No, it doesn't seem to care. One, two, three. So it was only four for those in total. Okay, so you have this guy you have to make. I made a bunch of glass pane, thankfully. So that was just putting molten glass in the one and making these guys. So that actually makes life easier because I have a bunch. And then I have to do dye. So RBG, I'm guessing. Red, blue, green. Okay, so uh, green, red, blue, probably. Something like that. And then glowstone. I feel like you're going to need these from time to time, so I might make extras. Oh, and then aluminum. Any extra aluminum for this? Perfect. Oh, apparently it needs to be a lime green, not a dark green. There you go. I just thought that would be good, and then I don't have to worry about the dyes for a while and all that, right? And making that screen, I just, you know, it's done, and I have a bunch of them if I need them. If I never use them again, oh well. There you go. Does it hold the... Oh, yeah, it does. So let's see here. No, this is not... Yeah, this is not the one that does the whole ore scanning. It tells you all the block information, which is kind of cool, to be fair. So I can go around and like look at the status of stuff here. Machines inactive, pollution and chunk. Oh, that's cool. So it should get higher as we go over here. This will be the highest. Yeah, okay. So you can finally see the pollution and stuff. No pollution over here. Let's check that new thing we made. Okay. 
So it tells you all the information here. Drill flow, 35 a liter a tick. So 35 times 20 right now. So this thing does 700 liters a, t a second. Possible usages, maximum income. That's cool. That's very cool. And I guess you have to get some pollution. Does this have pollution in this chunk? Probably. Not really, actually. Huh. I'm guessing this is the pollution maker right here. Yeah, I never even thought of the combustion engines making pollution, honestly. Yeah, of course it makes sense, but I never even thought of it till now, uh, which is kind of funny. So, Target should be around. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that would be our base, I guess, there. Very cool. I just wanted to see it in action. So basically, it's just advanced you know, monitoring thing. Now, it said something about the bee stuff. What was that about? Can portal use an event so almost every block in the game order function needs to, okay, again, scan crops are right clicking, voice scan, unlike cropland, which needs to be C of big inventory takes multiple. Uh, okay. That's awesome. Nothing with bees, but the crop thing is actually kind of OP. What's oh, there's a torch there. I was like, why is there a light there? So that's actually really cool. So we scan the crops like you were to scan them in the crop analyzer, which would probably show you the numbers on them now. So it'd say, you know, instead of one, one, well, it doesn't even say one, 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 but it'll probably say like one, 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 one. Okay, let's try doing it. There you go. So scan level, resistance ones. Oh, okay. So you see it somewhere on there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Growth four. That's the stats then. So growth four, gain zero, resistance one. Tells you about the nutrients, humidity, and air quality. So the air quality is not good, apparently. Um, I'm not sure what gives it the air quality. Hum nutrients and humidity is okay, though. That's so cool. These should be like nothing, right? Because I've never crossbreeded them, but these guys I had to crossbreed them quite a bit to get to where they needed to, right? Air quality is two on this. Yeah, I don't understand why the air quality would be low. There's no pollution here at all, so I don't think that's related to that. It's just something else, I guess. But very cool. So yeah, that's a very useful, uh, you know, device. Obviously, you know, it tells you good information. It helps you. Uh, you know, debug issues, like, so if I right-click something, it'll tell me if it's broken, why it's broken. Um, I guess when you use this in the, so something in here. There you go. Metadata. I was wondering if it did anything interesting there. Not really. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Well, even shows the stored energy in there too, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and even tells you that's a new thing. Not that this is not doing it. It's, um, I guess the update, but probably uses twenty four U a tick right there. I didn't even realize that. So, so it gives you an idea what a machine probably uses when it's running there. So that's that's a cool one there. Anyways, yeah, I think that's it, my friend. So I was happy to make this. Um. You know, this is not hard to make as far as I know, no. Yeah. But I'll grab it, because why not? Fun. You, you, your thing breaks, or you get lazy, or just on a rush, it's it's working there, right? So, But uh, I think that's it for now. I think we'll continue on next time when... Uh, yeah, we're probably going to do the multi-block thing, I think. I might go back some uh, episode, like some stuff here and start just crafting random machines like uh, the basic fermenter. I'm not even going to place it down or anything. Just craft this stuff off camera 
possibly. And then that way we just get a few of those done just for fun. And then uh, we'll, we'll open the loot bags and, you know, just go through them and which ones we've done and stuff. But it uh, might be something fun I can do off camera anyway. So either way, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.